Hello fam, how y'all doing? This is Uncle Tim. This is Uncle Tim Rants and Reviews, a channel that I ran and I review. Man, you know what? Is it me or the Christmas spirit is really not there this year, man? It's like, there's so much shit missing. I'm sitting here wondering like, what the hell is Christmas? You know, the tree is up. Everything is going on. We finally put all the decorations on it, man. And I'm sitting here. I'm not in the spirit. I don't know if it's what's going on with the economy, what's going on with life. Shit, it's not snowing, you know, that's having a big effect on me, man. But, you know, the snow can wait. I'm going to be honest with that one. But everything else is lacking, man. And I'm just feeling awkward. I'm feeling kind of out of sorts, man. I'm feeling like, you know, I'm the loose end that needs to be tied up. Like, man, what is wrong with you, man? Everybody else. And usually I be done damn near with Christmas shopping by now with everybody that we shop for. We usually be done. I usually be on part by now. But right now, it seems like I'm being selfish as hell. It's like everything is about me, and I don't know why. Man, it's like, <laughs> man, I don't know. It's just something about these holidays that are changing, man. It's like a shift in the universe or a shift in our reality, man. It's causing a lot of just uh, disharmony, man. You know, like, and I'm just sitting here trying to understand what the hell is going on from every aspect, man. You know, I'm looking at everything going up and I know you hear video after video of me talking about the economy, but shit, the economy really, really sucks when it comes to Christmas, man. You sitting here to yourself like, how the hell am I supposed to make this work? You get any extra money, man, you feel some kind of way. You be so itching to spend it or do something with it. Like, man, I ain't had money in a long damn time. Or you haven't had spare money. You get what I mean? Money that is not earmarked for shit, man. And you know, sometimes when it's earmarked, you don't care. You're like, look, I'm just tired. Shit is going on. I'm frustrated. I don't want to put up with all of this stuff. And man, that's the way I'm feeling. I'm sitting here, you know, trying to debate on whether to do this or to do that. You know, a lot of people's stuff is up in the air and I'm feeling some kind of way about that. You know, sometimes you feel awkward with everybody looking at you for something or you know, for, you know, stability, you know, shit, sometimes I'm not stable. Sometimes mentally I'm unstable. Shit. I'm a person. And, you know, sometimes people look to you as that pillar and, you know, people drop a lot of negative energy on you, man, as far as like life stuff and other stuff that's going on. And you sit back and be feeling some kind of way. Like if you only knew how bad I'd be feeling or how much I just want to snap the fuck off my damn self. You know, it's just real, man. You know, the holidays got you just want to holler and scream, man. You know, Christmas ain't what it used to be, man. You know, I'm looking around. I'm going through stores. I don't see people crowded in stores anymore. I don't see people out here screaming and hollering the bad stuff. You know, Black Friday is really non-existent when I've been looking at it, man. You know, stores that I passed by earlier, you know, within, you know, like previous years on Black Friday, man. Lines and lines of people. These are people shopping online or people just not shopping. And I believe it's both of those. They're shopping online and they're not shopping. You know, money ain't what it used to be anymore. I see a lot of people shopping at liquidation places like Ross, you know, TJ Maxx and Marshalls, Burlington. You know, because shit is real. Ollie's, you know, I'm talking about Ollie sell every damn thing. And all these stores I mentioned right now sell damn near everything. You're sitting back going to Dollar Tree. You're going to um, Dollar General. You try Family Dollar. You're trying to understand what is the value of your money right now. You're going to Aldi's and realizing Aldi is not cheap anymore. It's expensive as hell. Now you're sitting back trying to figure out how you're going to budget for these holiday gifts, man. And, you know, a lot of y'all like, man, well, you started out early. I mean, too late, man, because, you know, you're supposed to start out in October. I usually do, man. I just hadn't felt it. Dude, I just haven't felt it. I just felt some kind of way. You know, my whole thing is, it's not just up to you about the holidays. Everybody's included. Now, I'm not saying nothing negative about my wife because my wife is awesome. And I'm, you know, and she's cool about everything. I'm just talking about everybody else, man. They all up in the air talking about family ain't this, family ain't that. But they're not trying to do shit to bring family together. I can't be the only one out there trying to hold everybody together. After a while, I get tired of this shit, fam. You know what I'm being honest? I'm only human. People make it seem like you everything but human. 
Uh, this is the thing that I've been getting at for the longest, man. This is why so many people are so damn tired. They're angry. They're frustrated, man. Family. It's supposed to be about family this time of year. But you know what? It ain't even about that. You sitting here like, shit, these motherfuckers here are selfish as hell. I got to deal with them talking about this, doing that. They angry about every damn thing. You trying to do what you trying to do. You trying to actually get ahead. And you find yourself can't even get in the head because, you know, it's just too much shit happening. You like, man, damn. Sometimes I just throw my hand up in the air, man. I'd be like, man, I don't know. I just don't know. Shit, you need a side hustle for the side hustle. Because, shit, the side hustle ain't enough anymore. You know, it's amazing how you're taxed. And a lot of people think I just be running my mouth when I talk about taxes, man. Taxes is a motherfucker. Think about it. You're taxed on money that you get. You taxed on money you spend. You taxed on money that, shit, you get when you do your income taxes. Man, you taxed every damn way, including death. It's a birth tax, a death tax. Shit, uh, it's too much. And you just sitting here like, damn. We're taxed the hell out of. Man, we're liabilities to our damn self, damn near, man. And we're feeling some kind of way. You're wondering why people are feeling so distraught and so, you know, uh, all over the place. Like, they don't know how to make an informed decision, man. I'm looking at the fact that, like, damn. You know, people saying, hey, they're raising the rent because they can. They're raising mortgages because they can, and people will pay them. I said, that's true, but I said, it's to the point now where it's, it's looking like people can't even afford to pay that shit, and they just leaving. And I said, landlords are looking some kind of way because they're like, where are these people going? they leaving. If I can't afford to pay this shit, that's it. You can keep all this shit. It's just real after that, man. You know, you start looking at everything, your job, you know, people talking crazy, having you feeling some kind of way, you doing your job, another motherfucker's job, an extra motherfucker's job, and they running their damn mouth to you. And you sitting here like, what? I'm putting up with all this shit for what? Man, please. Like I tell you, shit is what it is. People will intentionally trounce over all of your boundaries if you let them. People will treat you the way you allow them to treat you. If you allow people to walk all over you, they will continue to walk all over you. If people try that shit on you and you step and put your foot on their neck, they won't keep trying that shit. They'd be like, well, you know, why do everybody have issues with you? I said, because I'm not going to let nobody walk all over me. I said, I'm not here for none of that. You run your damn mouth, I'm going to check your ass quick. I'm going to make sure I check you. I'm going to check you so damn fast, your head spins. And dude, you got to be like that with people because sometimes people need to be put in a place. And you just sitting here, you dealing with this shit at work, you dealing with shit, you know, coming home when you open up these damn bills and you're like, man, come on, I'm tired. You know, like they're going up on gas, light, water, trash pickup. You just like, damn, property tax. You like, shit, like, you just don't throw the damn towel in and just walk off. And they asking why people are, you know, trying to do tiny homes and move into tents and shit because people like, look, I can't do it no more. And I'm like, you mad at people because you making it hard for them? And you looking at people like, hey, look, I don't understand. Why are you so angry? Shit, you have every right to be angry. Shit is bad. Shit is going to be the way it is. It's going to continue to be the way it is, man, until you make a choice, a decision, uh, until you say, look, enough is enough, man. And I've been saying that a long time lately, man. I've been saying that a lot. Enough is enough. I'm tired. I'm frustrated with everybody talking crazy, man, trying to tell me how I need to be better, you know, and how I need to understand some shit, man. You know what? You can't understand what people are going through because people are crazy. You know, you sit back and you baby people, man, and you realize these motherfuckers are crazy as hell. You be like, this motherfucker is crazy. And I realized that, man. I realized that people that you help, sometimes they stab you right in the face, not even in the back. I helped somebody to my own detriment, and they were blaming me. I mean, I was working at this job for years, and this woman was stabbing me in my damn face. You know, I fixed the whole problem that the store had. This woman 
it wasn't enough. She said, uh, I'm just tall. I'm just tall. I did every damn thing I said I was going to do. What is the problem? You can't fix shit if you fixed it already. You can't keep fixing shit. You have to have a solution. If you don't have no solutions and your answer is to blame people, you're going to have problems. Dude, and I realized that. I said, boy, these motherfuckers here are snakes. Oh, man, I need a reference. Hell no. Shh, losing my number. <laughs> you know, like, man, I ain't trying to hear that. I don't care what you're going through, man. I just don't. I realize now. Dude, I've been carrying too much of people's shit, holding guilt for a long time about every damn thing. You know, when I just wanted to hold my middle finger up, and I probably should have. Sometimes you got to hold your middle finger up. And I'm just serious, man. That's the best way I could just describe this. Sometimes you got to hold your middle finger up and just let people know how you feel. You know, because people would just continue to overstep, you know, push your boundaries and, you know, just make it seem like you just wrong about everything, gaslighting you to the damn point where you sitting here thinking they, that you wrong. And, you know, you like, wait, hold on. How the hell am I wrong? You know, like, man, people out here are just wild as hell, man. And that's how I've been looking at it, man. I've been looking at my life like, man, lately I've been like, what are you doing wrong? And I found out lately what I've been doing wrong is caring about the people who actually wronged me. Man, when people wrong you, to hell with them. Let that go, man. Don't be like, I'm going to kill them with kindness. Hell no. I'm going to just cut your ass off. I will cut off two fingers to save my whole damn hand. I'm serious. I will. That's how you got to be out here in this world, man. You can't be out here just taking shit. You just taking it like, I'm just going to bend over and take it. No. <laughs> Hell no. No. Man, I remember I had a doctor talking crazy to me. And he was like, man, so what you going to do next? I said, I'm about to get another damn doctor. I see you ain't worth what you printed on. I said, I see you don't even know what you're talking about. What you mean? I don't know what I'm talking about. I said, did you even read the chart? Did you read the medication? Did you read this? I said, you didn't read shit. I said, you just coming in here with conclusions. I said, you don't even know what you're talking about. I said, I will not even listen to you. I said, did you, do you even have your medical degree? About time I was done with his ass, man, he was questioning, did he have his medical degree? I'm serious. People will talk to you any kind of way. Unless you check their ass. Once you check their ass, they feel some kind of way. They'd be like, yeah, well, you know, I've been checked properly now. You know, Shh, man, please. And I've just been, oh, no, man. I, man, I just know you all feeling the same way. It's like, where's Christmas? It's like, it's been missing, man. It's missing. I'm like, where the hell is Christmas at? Like, it don't even feel like Christmas. Don't even feel like the damn holidays. You know, usually I'm playing Christmas music, man. I be all in just playing Christmas music. I play Last Christmas so many damn times, my wife be ready to kill me in here. I play Mariah Carey All I Want for Christmas about a hundred damn times. But I haven't played any of that this year, man. I don't know. It seemed like you find out later how you feeling about stuff, man, and just look at it. It seemed like a lot of shit missing, man. I'm not talking about like personal, you know, in my personal life here. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about outside. It's like so many uncertainties are going on, man. And you feeling some kind of way, man. <laughs> and they study taking more and more taxes from us here in Chicago, man. Man, I looked at the gas. Me and my wife looked at the gas when we was in Wisconsin. We was in Racine, Wisconsin, man. My wife said, what? Wait, hold on. How much is gas? I was like, oh, how much was gas? Oh, man, I think gas was like $3 and something. Well, look, hold on, fam. Hey, babe, yeah. how much was gas in Milwaukee? I mean, in uh, Racine. Thank you, babe. So my wife was saying that it was two ninety six when we were in Racine, Wisconsin. Now it lets you know, shit, gas is like three dollars and something here. You know, <laughs> like three. 
<laughs> like 360 or some shit. <laughs> so it's less than three dollars over there, man. And you's like, wait, hold on. Man, come on, man. I was just feeling some kind of way. I said, man, it just seemed like you being stiffed. You look I looked up um housing costs over there, man. It was so damn cheap. I'm like, it's like it's tripled here. I'm like, what the hell? You ain't getting nothing special here. I'm serious. You got to pay first month, last month, security. I'm like, if rent is $1,500, 3000 you're paying $4,500 or $5,000 to move in. Why? Why I got to pay first month, last month, and the security? What the hell is the security for? What's the first and the last month? I wasn't here last month. Shit. <laughs> man, come on, man. I'm feeling some kind of way, and I just wanted to say that, man. But, you know, I want people to understand where the hell I'm coming from. You know, I'm feeling like that right now. But to later, fam, thank you for watching. Peace out.